Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Sardella card reading for January 25th, 2020. So today we have Fluorite Learning and this is a beautiful card and a beautiful sort of uh, way to build up the cards over the last few days because you are learning who you are. You are learning really about your truest nature as a human being. You're starting to gain that perspective. You're starting to gain that deeper understanding. And you realize you have a long way to go, <laughs> but that's all right. And, and being perfectly where you are in your learning process. Okay. Now, for some of you on a more superficial level, like in the day-to-day -day life, does this mean you're learning something new? Maybe. Maybe some of you have decided to embrace a passion. Maybe you're going to take a little master class online, <laughs> right? Or you're trying something new. And you're learning what you're capable of. That's a big one. Or if you say, I'm too old to learn how to play piano, but I've always wanted to. Well, maybe you pick it up today. You don't just pick up piano. Yeah, you can. You sure can. Go go do a search on apps on how to learn how to play piano. <laughs> Endless resources. Okay, you can even get your iPad out and even have the keyboard on your iPad. All right, so no worries there. You can figure it out. Uh, <laughs> but you're learning about your truest nature and you're learning... What now, at this stage of your existence, what brings you happiness? I was using this example with somebody else, but when I was a teenager, I thought I wanted to be in musical theater. I wanted to study opera, and I did. I actually studied opera for a short period of time. But now, <laughs> if somebody said, hey, not that I've trained my voice for this, but you know, if somebody said, hey, you want to get back into musical theater? I mean, I wouldn't mind uh, picking up singing again and doing voiceover work. I mean, I would be happy to do that. But as far as like getting out on the stage and trying to, whoa, whoa, that sounds like a nightmare. I remember being on the stage. I never sang opera on stage, but I did theater. And every single time I'd be waiting in the wings going, why do I do this to myself? Actually, one of the last productions that I did was The Man Who Came to Dinner. It was at Ohio State University. And what was my character's name? I think it was Mrs. Stanley or something. And I had the entry, uh, the first scene, okay? Like I had to come running down a flight of rickety steps that people had built for the set, right? In size four shoes. I'm a size six and a half. I had to wear the size four because that is authentic to what a woman of Mrs. Stanley's stature and age in that era would have been squeezing her feet into. And every night I was like, I might die, okay? <laughs> I might die. But <laughs> just a side note to this little side story, I did get entry applause one time. And that was, you know, that fed my ego pretty well because <laughs> I don't know what it was. People just loved it when I came on the stage that one time, not any other time, just once. But uh, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't want that now. I'm a different person. I had my experiences with that. And I'm kind of sorry I left it with that character, but, like, <laughs> but you know, I, I've been able, we all evolve. We all become different people. What we once wanted, those goals may have expired. Maybe you've already, if you really wanted it, you would have done it. Your energy would have flowed you into that existence. So whatever it was, you've gotten as much as you wanted, right? So even if you didn't meet a certain goal, you haven't failed. You just grew out of it. So what next? Oh yes, have a day today where in the spirit of learning, learn about what's next. What would you like to do? What is that next thing that makes you smile and go, I've always wondered about that. Let me go check it out, right? <laughs> so we're gonna leave it there guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.